Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and look who's got a new hair. So this is the shortest hair I ever done in my entire life and without further ado, let's just get started and I haven't been doing this kind of video for a while because don't you hear it? There's a lot of bird chirping everywhere that's why I'm always doing like voiceover so obviously like in here I really really have a very bad skin conditions around here and I got a new friend here uh, and here too I don't know, my skin is really reached the point it's really really worse so when my skin is really sensitive and so freaking like irritate it, this is what I do. And then next, uh, for the face, I will be using this cushion. This is from Innisfree and I got it in number N21. So I really forgot what uh, cushion it is but um, I will put it in description below so you need to check it out. Point please. Um, my skin is getting tanner and tanner this day. I don't know why maybe because I stopped using sunscreen for a while. I think because of the sunscreen I got irritated and have a pimple like really worse like this. So I will just pat it down to all my entire face and don't forget about your neck too. So the next step is I will be using a concealer because as you can see I really really have this like a dark spot really visible and the one in here and I just cannot stand it and it's really budging my view. Blend it well. First I will be using my hand to just blend it a bit in here and then go around to the blemishes that you want to hide. Don't leave, really blend it like in the center of your blemishes because it will move on the concealer. Just move around a bit and then go to the center. So it will still covering up your blemishes. And then I will do the same as the rest spot concealer that I just put. Anyway, um, I don't know. Um, I think like a lot of my friends like reach puberty kind of stage in um, in my college life and right now they really really have amazing really freaking flawless skin ever and I don't know why why I'm the only one who through this well I'm not really know but uh, I in 2016 and 17 or before I don't really have this kind of worse conditions of my face just one time when I got my periods little tiny acne small 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 one and right now I don't know maybe I'm so stressing something about and really massive and I will grab this kind of sponges like a roundabout and it's so freaking fluffy and I will get this one too just spraying a bit so it's kind of a bit damp and I will just blend with a very light handed hand press all the concealer and make sure it will be blended out to the old concealer that I put so yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm the one who getting like a late puberty, but I don't think it is possible because I already passed the puberty age and yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't tried anything, like I haven't tried uh, all the products, all remedies, home remedies, natural products, but it's just frustrating. Uh, a proper diet, not eating too much daily, cheese, all the bad stuff that making my skin worse. But it's still getting worse. And right now, I think this one is reaching the point like 
Yeah, it's sad, I know. You should see this. See this. This is in 2016. I tried to make a videos. Look at this. None of problems. And I'm not wearing anything except for the eye makeup. <laughs> I don't know why. And what I'm doing right now is just lot the products and then start from my bare eyebrow and then you need to comb every hair you have in your eyebrow so comb all to the upwards direction see how the difference make with I just like combing everything with this fiber organizer yeah I think I talk about this with my mom and I not really want to see like the dermatologist or like a doctor for skin um, I don't know I just afraid they gave me something I know they're supposed to be like helping uh, everybody with the skin problem uh, it's just me I'm just scared to go with that kind of doctor because every time I do something with my skin it's really really easy to irritating and really sensitive so i'm afraid okay after you do that step and i will grab this pencil eyebrow and look at this Ta -da! how small it is <laughs> it is so small so make sure you sharpen up your eyebrow pencil because i need it i need this for doing like the hair stroke kind of drawing so you're not like really filling all the gaps that you have in your hair but just drawing one by one like this oh don't don't worry about the mess that you will do or the draw to take or to to like overboard because we will be using another concealer to tidy it up so don't worry just be creative just drawing a bit in here straight line like that over here too and here so don't put too much because it will look so defining and weird to see and after that i will take this Punches again. I'm kind of doing this motions and wiping it off. So I will curling my eyes first, and I was doing like the three step root, middle part, and then the end of my eyelashes. And finally, I can buy this mascara. So it is quite hype about this. So insist of I'm using my always favorite go-to mascara big shots from Maybelline 2 I will try this one I will show you one eye first and then I will show you the differences this is with up this is with a really long time to dry so you need to be careful when you blink your eyes and but I must say it's done a pretty well job for the eyeshadows I'm not really using a lot I will just using my hand and I will using this palette from 3CE and I will just using two colors to just like make a little bit definitions in my eyes and first I will be using this color just a little bit on my hand have in the back of your hands a bit so there is no fallout and then just put it into your entire lid there see it's quite make a definitions there and then the second color is I will be using in the middle part with the same hand finger that I use and I will just put it into the end and the center of my outer V just a bit and then I will use the clean finger and then just blend it a bit there, there it is 
Oh, I touch this pot thing over here, and it's visible again. I will just fix this a little. Bit. Okay, and suddenly it feels so hot. Okay, and I will just let them be like that. And for the next step, for the last step in the eye part is the eyeliner. You can totally skip this if you're not a fan of eyeliner, but eyeliner is really make a statement in my eyes, defining more, and this really opens up my eyes. So I will be using this 3CE gel liner in black, and I will just really, really defining the edges, and they will start barking. Okay, next I will be using a cream blusher and oops, it's upside down. Look at this. The packaging is so freaking nice. And the smell is really good too. And I got it in number one. I believe it's called Cherry. And it's really freaking red. You need to be careful because it's really pigmented and I will just using my hand. She freaking rat and so pigmented so you need to be careful and um, because i don't want to look like there's a rat dot in my face i'm doing one part at a time smile so what i'm doing here right now is grabbing the angle brushes like this and i will take the hula from benefit and i will not dragging all the contour until like here on the center of my face just a bit under here because I still want the clean look. So after that, I will be using highlighter and this one is Morphe X Bretman and this the color, I will be using the lighter shade in here. And I will just using a fan brush and wiping up a bit. And then after that, I will go to the oh. The shade that I'm using for my cheekbone is called Baby Girl. <laughs> and, and right now I will be using Get Late here with my finger. And then put it in the back of my hand and just in the tip of my nose a bit. Ooh, bring the highlight. Like that, and um, I think I will be using that for my cupid's bow too. Yes! Oh, I forgot about this part, so I forgot to contour my nose a bit. Okay, this is the very, very last step on this look, and actually, for this look, you can totally wear any kind of color and lipstick, lip stain, lip balm, everything, but I will show you my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick to be exact, for this look. I got NYX Soft Lip Mate and then Super Stay Matte Ink from Maybelline. This is called in the shade number 5 and this one is Sao Paulo and this one is NYX Lingerie number 8 so but today I will be using combinations between these two first I will be using the NYX Lingerie first and I will just put it into my inner lids like that see so I hope you can see what I mean because I need to go and my batteries die so I hope you can see it it's better not too shiny right so it is like this all things the most uh, part that I like is the lip part and the eyebrow of course quite natural and simple and it's not uh, that hard to achieve this kind of look because I'm just talking and explaining that's why it taking a lot of time and if you do it like uh, everything in orders and 
not talking a lot like me in the videos it will be just taking like 10 minutes like but if you do think like the eyebrow is quite hard for you too you just need like filling a bit and then doing the eyebrow that volumizer so yeah like that i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video don't forget to like subscribe and don't forget to read the description below because i wrote something about disclaimer or everything that you need to know about the product that i use okay see you <laughs>